Hi friends, so today we will have a very interesting topic to discuss. We will be touching back on Pastor Dana Coverstone's November dream and also his new dream that he had about a battlefield. And I will also share my dream about China. Stay tuned, um, see if you like it. So we are almost in November, only a few weeks left. A big election month, it's going to be a very interesting month. This month can change our life tremendously. So I was doing my research and it's very interesting to know that a lot of sources are stating the same thing. They're all kind of all on the same page about November, but it will be a very interesting month, something to look in, something to look into and to get prepared. We only have a few weeks to last, um, only a few weeks of October left that you have um, to prepare and get ready. The election will be very unusual. The release of power is questionable. With our economy on the brink of collapsing, with everybody agreeing that civil unrest is imminent after the election. And with many other things that can happen as well, uh, those other things were listed already. So stay tuned, hold on to your hats. We're about to get into a roller coaster and it's, we're just on the brink of it and soon we'll be crushing down. There are only a few weeks left to get ready. Is your house in order? Are you prepared? Do you have water, food, toilet paper, just to make sure? And anything else you may need, of course. So you'll be able to stay home and stay comfortable when civil unrest erupts after the election. A lot of people agree that craziness may start after the election. Um, reading political news, economic news, and just all kinds of things, they all come together. So get ready if you're not ready yet. Okay, so here's a quick recoup about Dr. Keep calling him Dr. Pastor Dana Coverstone Dream about November. So the calendar was shown for November, the number three was circled and then going backwards, which I think any day before the third, that's this one while it starts. He saw um, civil unrest, he saw people running around, he saw violence, he saw, um, um, so he said he saw cities on fire. So that could be a lot of unrest before the election starts. And then he saw a big um, sign that says Trump victory challenged, which of course means that if he does win, it possibly will be challenged and um, there'll be some kind of commotion about it. He saw people being very angry, firing their weapons all everywhere, and just a lot of violence and abrupt and people with just a lot of emotion. Someone was holding a sign that stated, um, winner, obvious winner is not so obvious. He also saw more cities on fire, like a build pillar of smoke. He saw businesses destroyed, buildings destroyed. He saw Kamala Harris riding on a wagon with Joe Biden. And they had a whole bunch of dynamite in their wagon and they were going towards a Trump. Trump was there and then there were shots fired and the Secret Service um, just got shot or got in front of Trump and his Secret Service were holding muskets instead of um, the guns that we have these days. So this is the part where I think it gets interesting. Um, it's like it's people will be going into the olden days, like the Wild West again. People will forget all their values, all their morals, all their order. Uh, chaos will erupt and people will go back into the olden days.
That's why the Secret Service were uh, holding muskets in the dream. This comes to pass. It's easy to see why the second part of the dream may come true as well. In his dream, he saw like a big explosion and darkness afterwards and people sitting in shelters holding on to their suitcase. They were all upset and very scared. Do you know what could happen? At first, I always thought it would be a natural disaster, but actually reading into more about it and reading about different people, what they're stating, it feels like it's going to happen. There'll be some kind of invasion. A lot of people are stating that there's around 11 countries that are looking at America very closely to see when something happens inside of it to be able to invade it and possibly um, destroy it. 11 countries, they're stating China, Russia, North Korea and others are looking into it. And this is kind of the dream I'm thinking it could, could happen because a lot of people state that when there is a civil unrest inside America, when people are fighting each other, they won't pay attention to anything that's going on around them. And that's what the other countries will use. Just because Dana Carverstone saw this happening, he's not the only one who saw it before as well. There's many people who saw invasion from different countries, where people dropping and people are big cities are on fire so if you google it and you look into it you'll be aware a lot of people have seen it and predicted it so this is where i want to talk to you about my dream that i had about china about 15 years ago when i was still not even aware of anything happening i had a dream that i was like we were in some kind of shelter we were hiding and there was a lot of, um, I, I could tell that it was like war. There was a lot of shouting, a lot of cries. There was people crying, people were hurt. Buildings were destroyed. I saw buildings like crumbled and bridges crumbled. And then I saw a huge ocean. The waves were like in a storm, they were storming. And on the ocean, there was huge letters that spelled China. So that was, like I said, 15 years ago when I had no clue what could happen or what would happen. But back then, when I saw it, I was like, wow, China? But like I said, there's many countries could be that could be involved at this point. They, um, China may be just a small portion of it. So we're not sure who or what will happen, but it could come true this year. So another dream that Pastor Dana Coverson had was about a battlefield. It was like he had he saw a field and on one side um, there was like an army and on the other side there was a small army. On the left side there was people dressed in red and dark colors and they had a lot of weapons and they had a lot of armor. They were ready to go into war. On the other side, on the right side, there was a small group of people who were standing there, but they were not prepared to fight. They were, um, their weapons were broken, they had um, bad armor, they were just looking at the other army in mes they were mesmerized. They were so amazed how, how well they were prepared, but themselves, they were not ready. And then he saw on the hill behind the small army, um, he saw like 10 um, horsemen that, that arrived and told a small army that we'll be fighting for you. We are here for you. We will, you, you need help and we can fight this together. Um, you have to get your weapons in order. You have to start, you can't just stand and stare at them. That will not help you. So, uh, and they charged the other army and there's a battle started. But that little um, army on the right side, they were still standing there. They were mesmerized. They could not fight. And they started backtracking up the hill and they sat down and started watching how everything was happening. So instead of fighting, they were just sitting on the sidelines. But not realizing that, that the other side, the darkness, 
came from behind as well and circled them and they were attacked from the behind and most of them died which um, looking at his dream I'm thinking whoa this is not a good dream to have fighting who wants to fight but like he how he was explaining this kind of made sense he states that a lot of people especially Christian people who are not prepared they are living a life just full of enjoyment and having um, a good old time they're not prepared to be um, taking risks or being there for God mostly they're just doing whatever feels good to them Most of these Christians are um, living for themselves. They are not reading the Bible, they're not praying, they're not working with God. They're not living a life full of Christianity, full of life in God. A lot of Christians sit on the sidelines and they don't want to get involved with anything. They just want to watch and see how it will end. They just want to uh, live their own little lives reading their fiction, romance, novels, watching their favorite shows, and a nice uh, movie to um, help them sleep. So that's not how a Christian should do, live his life. A Christian should wake up and start being on guard. These are not the times to enjoy your fleshly, everyday desires of your heart. Uh, heart maybe which are still they're, st they're not bad for you but it's not the time to enjoy those things it's not the right time this is the time to seek God this is the time to wake up this is the time to seek answers you need to know what you should be doing you need to know if you need to move you need to know if you should stay in your place and what would be the next step for you to do Everybody who is Christian should be able to hear from God and know what he should do. Like it says in Isaiah 55, uh, verse 6, Seek the Lord while ye, he may be found. Call on him while he is near. This is the time when he is very near. This is the time when he is close by seek him a time will come when it will be the skies will be like bronze you won't be able to pray you won't be able to get your answers you will not know what to do so this is the time to seek God to know and to be able to be prepared this is a channel for preparation so this is my goal prepare yourself so you know what to do thanks for watching